Thank you, Stephanie Wigg. Welcome. Few university, universities are blessed with great academic leaders who set the tone for values and culture across the campus and care so passionately about athletics. Cornell is fortunate to have Hunter Rollins, graduate of Haverford College and Princeton University, classicist, basketball and baseball star, might have even played softball if you had a chance, had a field, wrestling often, aficionado, golfer, squasher, and Cornell softball's number one fan. Please welcome President Rollins. Thank you very much, Charlie. I just want to say that's a very tough act to follow, and um, I appreciate everything that uh, Stephanie said, and I think it does indicate to all of us what this field means to the players. And the players are the most important people here, because that's why we do this, that's why we do these jobs. We believe in our students, we believe in our athletes, and you can see how much they give back. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to find a little time to come out here a couple of times this spring and watch part of that 22-game winning streak. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun to watch a team that's got this much verve, plays with this much commitment, and this much teamwork. And you can see how much they like each other, depend on each other, and how much that means in terms of their productivity. But let me tell you that when I got here three years ago to Cornell, it wasn't like this. As Stephanie said, and as everyone else knows, uh, we didn't have this kind of facility. And I remember my first exposure to the softball program. I would sit or stand at football games on nice, cool fall days like this one. And up at the top of the stands, there were these students who would be serving hot chocolate, hot coffee, and anything else hot we could get our hands on. And these students kept saying, you know, it's nice you're here at the football game, but I wish you'd come out to a softball game. And this happened time and time again, and I kept saying, why do they keep telling me this? And one of these students in particular kept introducing herself, kept saying who she was, kept saying, you remember me, President Rawlings? And each time I would say, um, your name is um, uh, Mary, or no, no, my name is Wendy. <laughs> Wendy Field, remember that, President Rawlings. And then I would come back two weeks later, there'd be another game, she'd say, remember me? And I would work at it and I would say, Susan, no, it's Wendy, President Rawlings. And I would say, that's right, you're the pitcher on the softball team. No, President Rawlings, I'm the catcher on the softball team. Well, it took two years for me to figure all of this out. And I'm happy to say this year, finally, I've gotten out to games. I've really enjoyed these games. Charlie's right, I'm an old baseball player, a very old baseball player at this point. But I love baseball and I love softball. And if you want to come out and really enjoy yourself, you come out to one of these softball games. It is a total amount of fun. And I said to Hal Kraft, our vice president, just this past week, you have a big problem. And he said, what's that? I said, you need some parking out there near the softball field because that is going to become one of the most popular places in Ithaca. And he said, come on. And I said, you just come out there next weekend and you will see. So we're going to have to now deal with the next problem, which is the parking to take care of the fans who come to watch this team, as well as the tennis teams. And that is, I think, the great kind of problem to have. That's what we call a high-class problem. So we're going to solve that problem because to get all everybody here who wants to come, we're going to need more and more and more parking places. But that's a great kind of problem to deal with. This is a lot of fun for me uh, because I believe in college athletics, as Charlie said. I think it's one of the great parts of coming to college. I think it's one of the great things at Cornell that we've got athletic programs where our students are students and athletes. And that's why we root for them as hard as we do. So Wendy, I know your name. I know your position, and I enjoy watching you and all your teammates play, and I want to say to the donors who made this possible, this is just a fantastic opportunity. And I've known Arno Neiman almost since I got here when I first heard about him as a wrestler at Cornell, and I'll tell you someday a story about what Arno did just two years ago 
which was broadcast over NPR as I was driving to work. Well, I'll just tell you very quickly, because it's a great story. I, I, I know you're cold, but you've got to listen to this story. I was driving into the office my first few months here at Cornell, and I was listening to NPR as usual, and they had a story about a man who had been jumped by an assailant the previous day by a young assailant. This was a 55 or 60-year-old man, and the assailant was 20 years old and leaped on him in order to steal his money, knocked him down, and unbeknownst to the assailant, this 55, 60-year-old man was a former college wrestler. And he reversed him, <laughs> got him in a half Nelson, held him down on the ground, and then somebody called the police. And the assailant was saying, somebody get this man off me. And then at the end of the story, it says the man's name is Arno Neiman. He's a former wrestler at Cornell University. Well, I wrote him a note. And I said, I don't know you yet, but I can't wait to meet you. And here we are this afternoon. Arno Neiman is giving his name and his support to this field. And I just love that. Because across the country, as you know, wrestling is somewhat of an endangered sport for various reasons. At Cornell, wrestling is alive and well. And softball is alive and well because a former wrestler is supporting softball. Now, is that a great story or what? That, that is a great story. We also had the President's Council of Cornell Women who stepped up to the plate, so to speak, and who decided they were going to support this program and made that an objective, a goal, and you're going to hear about that in a few minutes, but we're very grateful to them for taking on this challenge and saying that's one of the things we want to support for women at Cornell. It's a great group. It's a terrific amount of energy and commitment, and now they're behind this program as well, and they have given to this program in a major way. And, of course, the ropes. We all know about the tremendous history and tradition of the ropes and fun, the ropes and family here at Cornell, and they have lent their name to this facility. So to me, this is what college athletics and this is what college academics are all about, and I absolutely love it, and I challenge any other university in the country to find the marriage of softball and wrestling that we have found at Cornell. Thank you very much.